Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. E. And today we're going to learn how to create a prime and composite chart. Something that might be important first is to figure out what the word prime and composite means. So let's take a look at that. Prime numbers are whole numbers with only two factors, themselves and one. This means they cannot be divided by any other numbers without leaving a remainder. So that means they only have two factors. I couldn't divide them by any other number besides themselves or one. Composite numbers are whole numbers that have more than two factors. This means they can be divided by at least one other number without leaving a remainder. So composite numbers are a little bit more flexible. There's at least one more number that it can be divisible by. Um, prime and composite numbers are really, really important in fifth grade. It's gonna help us when we're starting to add and subtract fractions and finding uh, equivalent fractions, but it's also really important as you go to middle school. In the future, these are going to be really, really important to you. Oh, boy, these are fire. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry about that. I was just grilling. Yeah, prime and composite numbers are really, really important. You'll learn about uh, factor trees and you'll learn about prime factorization, so you really need to know prime and composite charts. But for now, let's go take a look at these ribs. Ooh, these boys looking tasty. I can't wait to dig in. You tell them, future Mr. E. Prime and composite numbers are extremely important. There's also something else that's extremely important for you right now, and that is that you memorize the first five prime numbers. Those numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. It'll be really helpful throughout the school year if you can have these five memorized. So really make sure that you memorize these five numbers. So let's go on to talking about how we can create a prime and composite chart. So the first thing you're gonna need for a prime and composite chart is a hundreds chart or a hundo chart, as I like to call them. You know, I love me some hundos. Um, as we first learn how to create prime and composite charts, your teachers will provide you hundreds charts that are already filled in one through 100. But in the future, as we start getting closer to the star test, It'll be something that you'll actually fill those numbers in yourself because it's gotta be something that you create. Now we're gonna take a look at their first number and that is the number one. The number one is a special number because it is neither prime or composite. It is its own number. It's only divisible by one number and that's itself. So it is neither prime nor composite. Now the next step is to circle those first five prime numbers that we talked about. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. We're going to circle those numbers because they're going to help us create the rest of our prime and composite chart. What we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at all the multiples of 2. Because if it is multiple of 2, that means it's a divisible by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross out any even number besides 2. So anything that ends in a 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0, that's going to be taken off our board. So we cross those out. A lot of times I tell students they can just kind of shade these in to make this process a little faster. So all even numbers are off the table except for 2 because, of course, 2 is prime. Now we're going to take a look at 3. What we're going to do is we're going to skip count to help us figure out what numbers we need to cross off next. Something else that would be really important is if you want to use your multiplication chart to help you find these numbers, you are more than welcome to do that. So let's take a look at a couple of these numbers. So we start at three, we skip count to six, that's already taken off because it's even, then we go over to nine, we're gonna cross that one off. Then we go over to 12, that one's already crossed off, go over to 15, we're gonna cross that one off. We move over to 18, I'm starting to notice that all multiples of three that are even are already crossed off. So the only numbers we're going to have to worry about are odd multiple of threes, which the next one would be 21. We've got 24. We move over to 27 and cross it off. 30, move to 33 and cross that one off. We move on to 36. 39 needs to be crossed off. 42, 45 needs to be crossed off. 48, 51 needs to be crossed off. 54. 57 needs to be crossed off, 60, 63 needs to be crossed off, 66, 69 needs to be crossed off, 72, 75 needs to be crossed off, 78, 81 needs to be crossed off, 84, 87 needs to be crossed off, 90, 93 needs to be crossed off, 96, 99 needs to be crossed off. So now we have crossed off 
all multiples of two and three. The next prime number we're gonna take a look at is the number five. And we're gonna cross off any number that ends in a five. The multiples of fives that end in zero are already crossed off because those are even numbers. And of course, all even numbers except for two are considered composite. So now we have anything that ends in a five, that's gonna come off the board because we know any number that ends in five is gonna be divisible by five. The next number we're gonna take a look at the multiples is seven. And the nice thing about this one is a lot of them are already crossed off. So another thing you can do is you can take a look at that multiplication chart. It can be really, really helpful while you're creating your prime and composite chart. So we'll start at seven. Seven goes into 14 to 21, 28, 35, 42, 49 is the first number we get to cross off as a multiple of seven because we've already crossed the other ones off. Then we move on to 56, uh, 63, 70, 77 will be the next number we cross off, 84, 91 will be the next number we cross off, 98 is already crossed off. So now we have all the multiples of seven crossed off as well. The last multiples we'll take a look at is the multiples of 11, which is just repeating numbers, 11, 22, 33. But something we'll notice is that all of these numbers are already crossed off, which means we don't need to look at any other multiples. The rest of these numbers are considered prime numbers. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna circle them all. And now we have a filled out prime and composite chart. The star means it's a special number, neither prime or composite. The circle means it's a prime number, and the X means it's a composite number. And we can double check, take a look. See, these are all the prime numbers from one to 100. We got them all right. Now, there are a couple things that are important to remember as we're thinking about prime and composite numbers. A few misconceptions that most fifth graders will have. Number one is a lot of fifth graders think all even numbers are composite. That's not true. We know that two is an even number, but it is also a prime number. So not all even numbers are composite. Some fifth graders will think all odd numbers are prime. And we know that that is not true as well. There are lots of odd numbers that are composite, like numbers that end in five. Those numbers are always going to be composite because they're divisible by five. Another misconception that fifth graders will have is that if it is a really big number, it must be prime. Honestly, that's not more of a misconception rather than fifth graders being lazy. Just because it's big doesn't mean it can't be divided by something. It's really important for you to go ahead and try to figure out what you can divide it by. So a last misconception there is, is that one is a prime number. Remember, one is not a prime number. It is not a composite number. It's a special number, neither prime or composite. Something that I think will make prime and composite numbers a lot easier for you is if you know how to do divisibility rules. Check out this video and I'll put a link down below to the video to figure out how you can learn more about divisibility rules to make prime and composite charts a lot easier for you to make. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about prime and composite numbers and their uses. We love you guys, we miss you, and we'll see you later, bye.